Hi there folks, it's me, I'm back again showing some more locos. Um, I've got some uh, diesel locos this time to show you. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to kind of bunch them up so that uh, there's not too many videos of the same kind of thing. But uh, this video is going to have um, uh, Deltix, um, Kobos, uh, Class 20s, the EMU, which is like a coach, um, template coach. Um, the three, well, there's, I've got two versions of the uh, 08 Shunter, which is the two and three rail, and I've also got a Ren one, which is uh, very similar. Um, and also I've got the overhead electric, uh, very rare engine to show you. So here we go. Okay, we're going to start with the Deltix and the first two at the top is they are very similar uh, but the one is uh, Capello and the other one is St Paddy. St Paddy is a three rail loco both in the similar uh, colour scheme and then we have the plain green version which is this one's a three rail version um, yeah anyway we go back to these two first um, these two are very nice liveries. They they look uh, very pretty, really. I think. But this one's got yellow end. Um, two rail pickup. I'm here. Yeah. Very nice. And this one, the three rail, the rare version. Exactly the same, really, apart from it's got these spoons. All have glass windows in the front and back. Again, yellow end. If you look at the very front, just above the yellow, there's a little slot. That's where the nameplate goes in. Now, not only are they different names, they're obviously different numbers as well. This one's D9001, St Paddy. And this one is D9012, Capello. Yeah, this uh, three rail green version, they did do it in two as well. Um, some had these kind of hooks, the drain on, and yet some had uh, the tin plate. Again, the end is painted different, and again, yeah, quite a pleasing loco. Some of these locos are, are quite rare in that there's a rare version which has. Where these are, these um, tanks, batteries, covers, whatever you want to call them, uh, they have like a strengthening piece at the back of it. None of mine actually have it, but uh, there are ones like that. And there's also, all these side frames are all screwed on. Um, there is a version, uh, this one, which is a later one. Um, sorry, not, not, not this one. Um, uh, there isn't. There is one of these that has uh, got um, plastic side frames that actually push in. Um, yeah. So there's a couple to look out for those. Next we have these two. These are Kobos. So this Co is three, and Bow is two. That's the wheel configuration. Again, some of these have, both of mine don't have them, but in here, sorry, in here is a strengthening piece on some of them, um, which will make it a little bit better in some ways. Um, yeah. That's a three rail version. And this one here, 
Secret number again. Is the two rail version. Two rail. And three rail. The couplings are all screwed on on these models, which is quite good. And they have tyres as well, which are a bit temperamental, but they do work rather well. Yeah, apart from that, really, there's not much difference between those two. These two are class 20s, or a thousand BHP Bobos. Again, we'll Bobo, Bobo, same. Yes, anyway, these aren't too bad condition. This one's got a bit of rub on the roof. Don't know how that's happened, but uh, there you go. Um, these are both three rail because I've actually made them three rail. So, you know, uh, that one was actually originally three rail, which is the D8000. This one here, the D8017 number. It should have actually been a two rail, which is like I say, I've I've, um, I've rechanged that. And um, also inside, you can see that there's actually two separate yellow magnets in this one. Uh, sorry, not magnets. The lead weights on the top of the chassis bar, and this one here. Oh, this one's got two on it as well. I have seen them with just one. Um, yeah, that's what they are. Seem to run quite well. Again, they have tyres. Yeah, that's that. Okay, now these are the of eight shunters. The two, these two versions are. Uh, th this one is three rail, and the number on it is three seven six three, which is not very clear in this picture but um, I can't really zoom in on my camera but it is the, an original three rail version uh, with non isolated wheels in here you know there's no, no plastic bush whereas this one has the plastic bush in the wheels and uh, yeah this one's D3302 so exactly the same body really apart from the number um, with these models you must make sure if you're buying them that these steps aren't damaged because they're very vulnerable and uh, there are a lot of these models about but they are broken um, and, and including the rear steps too you know the same thing happens with those um, yeah, and uh, other cracks can appear in different places on the body um, you know where it's had a head on or something and the buffer beams are cracked or something like that but uh, yeah, that's that one. This version this is just a quick video, really. But this one's a um, an 08 Shunter. This is a Ren one. Uh, very much the same. Chassis is the same. Um, this is two rail, obviously, but the uh, hooks are obviously different. Now, these have um, two little lobes sticking up, which are um, there's two little holes on the on the hooks there, one there and one there, and they go over and they get tapped over, riveted over to hold it on. Um, colours different obviously and that's about it. Same same loco. You can actually put these these bodies on the on the Hornby Double as well. They all fit. So useful. Okay now we have the EMU. Yeah um, electric um, motor coach. This one here is the actual drive end and it's quite heavy but the the, the sides and the body of the, the actual thing is actually tin plate, plastic roof like the super detail coaches which go with this. Um, this one has a yellow end on it, some don't, but um, also some have a green rear end on it which this one doesn't. This is obviously the common sort of version but uh, these are still quite expensive um, 
you know, three hundred pound for the two kind of thing. So yeah, lovely engine though. You know, uh, this one here, this is the dummy end, the back end, or whichever way you want to use it. But um, obviously, it's actually a different number. Uh, this this number on this one is S six five three two six, and this one on here is S double seven five double one. If I I can see it properly, but uh, yeah, we have all the battery boxes all all different here. This one's just like a an ordinary super detail coach um, under frame. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, quite nice. Last loco is the overhead electric E3002. Um, lovely little uh, engine, really. Um, this works with or without the overhead cantonary, and um, these just lift up, obviously, to pick up the current from the overhead. Um, this loco, there's not much on it that fits other engines, as in um, the power bogey, and and uh, they're, they're all different. Uh, these um, side frames uh, are, are unique to this engine, so the bobos, are, uh, you know, aren't the same. Uh, they are actually different, so you can't use the bobo, um, which is this one. You can't use these side frames on it, so you know, special jobby to get those. Um, yeah, the red plastic buffers. Tricks do a, a version like this too, and uh, they're both very nice. The trick, well, tricks one actually has lights in each end on the head code page just under the windows, but this one doesn't. But, um, this is a very rare engine. Um, they, they they fetch kind of um, you know five hundred pound sort of thing, so very expensive. But you know if you collect it, it's a must. Okay, that's it.